Another video for you today. Otro video para ti hoy. Data backup procedures, external hard drive backup, how to get your Simple Tech working. You have an older version of Simple Tech external hard drive that it has recently stopped working. It turns on and you can hear it connect to your computer. However, you cannot use it to backup your files, nor can you access anything that's on it through Windows Explorer. Is it dead, you ask? Or can it be revived, you ask? You're set up to do an automatic backup through Norton. Every time you try to run backup, a screen says it's starting for 15 to 30 minutes and tells you it cannot find a disk. Meanwhile, both red and blue lights are on your simple tech. You haven't done anything other than to try to run backup and now contacting for support. If you haven't already, try to hook up your external hard drive to a different USB port on your computer and Windows check if your drive shows in disk management. To get to disk management, right click my computer and choose manage. Disk management is on left under storage on bottom half of a screen you will see listings like disk zero. An external drive should show as a disk other than zero, generally disk one or two, but that can change depending on what else is installed on your system. If your drive is listed and has a drive letter assigned, minimize this window and check in my computer for that letter. If it is there, that is your external drive. If a letter is not there or is assigned to another drive, like a network drive, you will need to manually set a drive letter. Bring disk management back up and right click on a capacity of your drive. Choose change drive letter and path. Choose change and select an available letter from a drop box. Once assigned, a drive should be in my computer with the letter you have selected. If that drive is listed as unknown or unallocated, then that drive is not properly formatted for use with this computer. If your drive was used with a Mac or another non-Windows device, it may be using an incompatible format. This can be changed, but a process will erase all data on that drive. If a drive shows unknown, right-click on a word unknown and choose initialize. Click through accepting some defaults. Your drive should now be labeled unallocated. If that drive shows as unallocated, right-click on a word unallocated and choose new simple volume keep clicking next accepting default settings until you get to finish clicking finish will begin a format process a format will generally take 10 to 15 minutes depending on drive size when a format is complete your drive will be under my computer labeled new volume you can right click on that drive and choose rename if you would like a different drive label hopefully now you are able to get your simple tech working you can always browse to anetcomputers.com for other possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.